In a previous video, we looked at how to make a character move along a predefined curve, link in the description. Now, an issue you might have with that is you have to use a path follow 3D node as a child of the path 3D, and then put your character as a child of that. But what if you want your character not to be a child of the path follow 3D node? Well, luckily, this is possible and it's pretty simple. So let's say I have my character somewhere else in my scene tree, and I want to have the curve completely separate. Then, as a child of the path follow 3D node, I can add a new node called a remote transform 3D. The purpose of this node is to send its transform information to another node in the scene tree. To do that, you go to the inspector and click the assign button next to the remote path property. Once you've done that, you select the node to uh, push information to, in this case, Sophia, my character, and I can now move my path follow 3D and my character walks along the path like before. Now, the good thing about that is you can set the remote path from code. Now, maybe you can't set the remote path of the remote transform 3D node in the editor. In this case, you can do it via code. So I'm going to open my script. And in this one, I'm going to create uh, two variables to reference my character and my remote transform 3D. So I control click to select them and drag instantly onto my script, creating two onReady variables. That's one way to reference your nodes. And I'm going to uh, redefine the ready function here. And I'm going to say remote transform 3D dot remote path is equal to Sophia dot get path. There is a function uh, in Godot that allows you to get the full path to a node and to assign it to your remote transform 3D. So in your code, as soon as you can grab a reference to your character in your code, you can use uh, the variable name dot get path and assign that to the remote path property of your remote transform 3D. And if I run the game now, uh, I have removed some code so it will behave a bit differently, but you can see my character is moving along the path. Now, if I select my remote transform and I remove the, the path set in the editor and I run the scene, you should see the character still move along the path uh, and it's being controlled by my remote transform 3D here. Subscribe for more questions and answers about Godot and game development. And if you have any questions, please join our Discord and ask in the Godot questions forum. You'll find a link in the description below.